Team Sasini, Karibuni. My name is Eskin Gugi from Alliance High School. I'll give the rest of the members to introduce themselves. I'm Tevin Boha, Alliance High School. Michael Ugwe, Alliance High School. Leon Kijetu, Alliance High School. Afula Amalo. Um, I'm going to be taking the history of Sasini. Okay, it began in 1952 and was originally incorporated as uh, as Dondu uh, Estates Limited. In 1960, uh, in order to grow further, it changed from a private company to a public com to a public company so that it may get funds from the government. In 1965, in 1964, it acquired a stake in Kipkebe Limited, and in 1965, it acquired a 100% stake in Kipkebe Limited in order to continue growing further. In 2007, it realized for before that, before 2007, it had uh, been operating as Sassini Tea and Coffee. Limited, but since it had already diversified its products and was operating in coffee mills, the branded tea and coffee products, and horticulture, it changed its name to Sassini Limited, and it further diversified its products to branded uh, retail stores like Savannah Limited, and it also has an export base in Mombasa. This is the mission and the vision of the Sassini Group, uh, the Limited. First, Sassini is a member of the Samia Group of Investments. So the mission is to focus on innovative and efficient business practices, quality products, and commitment to all our stakeholders. The vision is to be the dealing agribusiness in Africa. So what does Sassini do as a product? What products and services does it offer? So Sassini is mainly in the agribusiness sector. As you can see, these are some of the products of the Sassini. First, we have where it measures on most, that's tea. We have some of the products and the brands. Then we also have the Sassini coffee. They also do coffee. And also recently, Sassini also diversified into the retail business. That's the Savannah Coffee Lounge. That's an example of one of the, the actually seven outlets and firstly expanding into the Nairobi, in the Nairobi city. So those are the products and services. Also, Sassini has also diversified into the timber sector. They, they, into the lumbering sector, they also sell timber. We've also, them, they've also gone into horticulture as a product, as a strategy for growth in the next five to 10 years. So they're actually diversifying and getting into the agribusiness sector as a whole. They want to like dominate in the agribusiness sector in Kenya. So I'll hand over to Omalo for the financials. Uh, first, we'll look at the share price. So you can see from uh, this one begins in February 2015 all the way up to February 9th this year. So you can see that the share price, the general trend, it's been rising. This is because the company has been performing very well in the last year. I think this is because the after in the world's coffee market. So you can see that the company, you are seeing the positive increase in the share price. Uh, for the profitability ratios. So we can see in 2012, the company didn't do very well. In fact, some of these ratios were negative. Then 2013, there was a huge upturn. And then 2014, there was a slight drop. That was because in mm, fluctuations in the coffee prices. But for this year, we expect it to do better because uh, prices have been rising and then demand also has also gone up. Uh, the investor ratios. So you can look, the earnings per share, they have been, yeah, they've risen since 2012. Then the dividend, uh, it was high in 2012, then it's been dropping. Uh, we can ch check the, the book value per share. It's remained fairly constant in the last, that is 2012, 13, and 14. Then the dividend yield, that's the amount they've been paying. So we can see that it's been very low. We expect it to rise because the company has been seeing better times in the last, in the last year. For the strengths of the company, so we have the company, uh, they are, it has experienced increased demands for its products, 
and then the labor costs have also gone down. The company has also adapted cost-cutting measures, like they've been generating their own electricity, and then it has diversified into other fields, like retailing of coffee, uh, they've, they're selling dairy products, lumber, and such like stuff. I'll expand more before we come to the big question of buy, hold, and sell, to the strengths of the company. So I want to l expound on why Sassini is actually coming up as a brand. First, uh, in the coffee and tea market in Kenya, we have seen that it's increased demand because of the high quality Arabica coffee. Kenya so it's high in demand in the international market, and we've seen that Sassini is actually going into the export market. Our research shows that only 5% of the produce of tea and coffee produced in Kenya are actually consumed by the Kenyans. So you see that most of the produce that is produced over here is exported, which is also a big plus for the company. Then you also have the reduced labor cost in the agricultural industry, which is also a plus factor for them. And also we have the cost cutting and value addition. The value addition is the Sassini Group, when it chose to go and market its brand as an own, the tea and coffee, and they went and started the Savannah Coffee Launch where it can sell its own tea and coffee and also brand them. And then you also have the cost-cutting ventures where Sassini came together and saw that instead of having to buy electricity, they can actually develop, develop their own electricity. And so they went into the hydro generating business and came up with one and also the coffee briquettes, they made briquettes from the coffee husks that can be used into electricity. And so that's cutting costs into their business and directing those, the money that could have been used into going into these costs. They have been saved and used for other purposes. Also, we have the diversification where they're going into new areas of business, such as the lumber, such as the retail market in the coffee and tea industry. So the big question, do we buy or do you hold or do you sell the shares? Well, according to our research, the far that you've gone, I'd say it's a buy or if you have shares, you hold. Why? Because we are seeing that the tea and coffee, the markets, the demands are going high in the Kenyan market. Why? Because the conditions for growth of coffee and tea are very favorable. So that we see that this, the international market is actually favoring the Kenyan market. And so over the last few years, the demand has been increasing. But so as you can see, Sassini has been on the growth three years. It's been growing as a company and also the diversification. So there's a lot of opportunities at hand for Sassini. And for me and for anybody who would ask for my advice, it will definitely be a buy. So the recommendations. First, we'll have the retail business. For the past year or so after it launched the Savannah Coffee Lounge. We have seen it, the profits have gone very high. They've been having good profits over the last year. So that would be an, an area of, cons of concern for them because they have spotted a market niche that they need to utilize and dominate in that area. So the first thing will be the retail business. I'd say they expand that business, not only in Nairobi, because you only have the Savannah Coffee Lounge in Nairobi, but to also expand it to the rest of the country and the region. Also, because the main problem facing the tea and coffee sector is the competition. There's too much competition here. And actually, the brand that gets the market, the customer base, that's actually what's ticking for the coffee companies. That's why you have brands such as the Starbucks that they have a loyal customer base because they can be able to market the products because quality is not an issue for Sassini because they have the best coffee and tea. So I'd say aggressive marketing into the area so that they can have, they can develop a huge customer base in Kenya and also in the region. Also the cost cutting and the retail, the cost cutting also will come in handy for them. They're opening more brands such as the coffee lounges. So the more they continue cutting on the cost, the more they'll get the funds to diversify into other areas. Yes, so all in all, Sassini is a brand to go and it's coming up as a very strong company into the future. Thank you. Now I'll invite questions from the judges. Thank you very much, Tim Sassini. Good question.
first of all, thank you for that presentation. It was a very good one. I have a question about, you said there's too much competition. Who are these competitors and what is the competitive edge that Sassini has over its competitors? Uh, Kenyan coffee happens to be the best in the world, as according to coffee drinkers. And then the competitors, the likes of Brazil, Sri Lanka, and India. So those are our biggest competitors, but all in all, we're still ahead. So the only country that's close to us is Ethiopia. What is the competitive edge of Sassini over those? Uh, the competitive edge we have, they've, uh, they've adopted cost cutting measures, and then they've reduced labor costs. So in the end, we, have, we find out that we'll have lower production costs than other competitors. Thank you very much, Team Sassini from Alliance. Uh, let's all appreciate them, please, as they take your seats.